So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Big Yak Monthly Cup. Today is arguably gonna be the most Yak edition so far, because I have to do the admin work today, everything's super chaotic. But, um, yeah, gameplay-wise, it's gonna be the same as always. We are in the month of October 2024, weekly qualifier number two. So, the second, but also the second last chance for people to qualify to the monthly final later this month. And um, the way it's gonna work is that uh, this month we have a little bit of a special edition, because all of you guys had the chance to send and basically submit maps for this tournament. Like usually I always um, use random maps, but this time actually maps built by you guys. So we're gonna play them. Uh, on each map we have three, three rounds and one warm up. So one warm up to discover the map. The maps are unknown. So uh, yeah, very, very crazy for the players. They need to quickly learn and notice how to play the map and then they have three life rounds where they can win points all of the points will be added up throughout all of the rounds and then at some point we will reach the point limit of 6969 points once players reach that they are going to be in finalist mode and then they need to win one more round in order to uh yeah close it out top three is going to qualify to the monthly final as always and then the rest of the players are going to gather points towards the monthly leaderboard basically same as always uh, I now need to take care of, of a little bit of admin stuff, so, uh, yeah, but we should be ready to go. And I need to not leak the token. Very, very important. I need to quickly do a command during round one, and I need to not leak it. Otherwise, everything is in the mud. Anyway, um, we should be ready to go. Whew, I'm nervous. I'm more nervous than ever, because I never had that much responsibility. Usually, I always had John C., the man, the myth, the legend taking care of all of this stuff, but now I have to do it. And next week I also have to do it, actually. We have 15 maps in total that could be played, and map one is actually a very simple one. I put it here on purpose so that players have a little bit of time to get used to the dings. And uh, yeah, it's built by Sir Blaze, because as I said, you guys had the chance to submit maps yourself. So uh, of course, really, really cool if you see your map being played by hundreds of players and uh, to see how they like it. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be map number one. It's called uh, Sor Didav Lama Feed Mystery Gamer. So by Sir Blaze and Mystery Gamer. As I said, uh, the way it's gonna work, we're gonna have one short warm up. Uh, the length of the warm up is basically always gonna be um, basically once the first player finishes in the warm up, uh, there will be a four or five second timeout. So that players have uh, exactly one round. But if you mess up in the warm up, then you don't have enough time. So you also gotta make sure to focus up in the warm up. So, Peng. And yeah, as you see, a very simple dirt map, a few tricky turns here, not, not a super simple map, but also not too complicated. Very basic, I think a good map to start off the cup with. Uh, also full skill map, no random elements, no luck, we have a little bit of a crazy finish here, but that is it. And now real quick, I need to switch scene, I need to send the message, and then I'm gonna show you at least the second half of the stream. I hope everything, if it's, n if, if it's not working now, the mud is calling. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get some claps in the jet? E-circuit connection activated. I did it. Nyko, the freaking admin, has got it. And we can now actually focus on the tournament. There's a few more command stuff I need to do once the tournament ends. But until then, we can just do business as usual. So let's go straight into map one. We have um, many really good players playing today, by the way. Also, the very first edition that uh, Bren is participating in. And Bren, of course, insanely good player uh, when it comes down to fast learning. Uh, of course, also a lot of OK Boys playing. You see Turbo here, Chris, Marius, Lars. Um, and none of them is qualified yet, so it's gonna be really, really, really exciting, actually. The thing is, though, as I said, the way it's gonna work is that at the ending, people will reach the finalist mode. And in order to close it out, they need to win one round. And that might not sound too difficult, but you need to keep in mind that they need to win a round against 115 other players. And that's extremely difficult. So it could be, with that many good players, an absolute finalist fiesta today. We will see about that. But yeah, for now, let's follow on the round. We once again have Heath in first place. Seems like he has learned the map the best. But also Link is still cooking. Come, uh, here Heath with a small inside line, no airtime, and another first place for him. Very clean. Also Link once again with good points. Balegen also here. Bren now also in the top 8. Very, very solid performance. So yeah, <laughs> Heave twice in, uh, twice in first, actually. Let's see if he's gonna win the final round as well. But look at this, actually big gap in points here. What is this? That's crazy. How did that happen? What the hell? How did that happen? That's so weird. Like, Heave and Link both with really good points, but then a 300 point gap almost, or like 250-ish. That's crazy. So I guess all of the other players who are below them only had one good round. 
and only Heath and Link uh, got two good rounds. Interesting. And look at Heath, man. Heath might go. Is he gonna go for the clean sweep? I'm not sure if we ever had that in Big Tech Monthly Cup, that somebody won all three rounds on the map. But if we didn't already, then Heath just did it. <laughs> Giga Chat. 1,500 points. I'm not sure. Maybe he also knew the map, but it shouldn't be the case because uh, the maps should at least all have been uh, not released to public. That was a part of the rules. So I think uh, Heath just absolutely cooked. 1,500 out of 1,500 possible points. That is crazy. But of course, it was a very simple map. On the more difficult maps, um, the player who's going to win the rounds is going to switch up more often. And I'm pretty sure map 2 is going to be a little bit more complicated. We will see. And the next map we have is Big Yak Multi Speed Mapping by Matty. Matty build a map. Not a very crazy map. <laughs> Actually, rather simple as well. But the cool thing is, it is multi-lap. We're going to have two laps. And both laps are going to be a little bit different. The start might be a bit confusing because you have to go to the left to take the booster. But then in lap 2, you can actually take the jump. So people gotta uh, notice that, otherwise they will be really slow here. We have some dirt here. A little bit awkward of a map, I gotta say. But it works. Like, the, the, you know, I, the, actually, uh, maybe small information for those of you... Uh, we're not like actively following the tournament, but um, the only uh, requests I had for the map was that they should be between 20 and 50 seconds long and they should be drivable in this format. Other than that, people had complete freedom. They could have built whatever they wanted, something good, something really XTD. As long as the map is drivable and not too short and not too long, um, it is fine. And yeah, that's why we have a very good variety in maps. So warm up uh, looked pretty good for the players. I think most players should know what to do. Yeah, everybody going to the left. Good focus. Everybody noticed that in the warm-up. So it will be exciting. Especially with the entry into lap 2. Because you can do a jump into a backslide. And I want to see Lars. Because I think Lars definitely figured that... Lars going for a side jump. Okay. Okay, that's kind of Giga Chat. Then release to land a bit more inside. Clean landing. And now he's in the top four, fighting against some other good players. Varys coming in here with good speed. Mimo Jr. with some jump. Plixi, though, uh, currently in first. And I think Lars is going to get second. He's going to go for the side jump again. And actually, it is a little bit faster. But, of course, quite risky to go for that. That is pretty crazy. But 460 points for Lars. Very good, considering that he already is in second. And especially if you look at Heath. Because Lee, Heath only scored 90 points. Which means... He's going to lose out on quite a few points. Marius also not with the greatest amount of points. So Lars and Heath are now going to be quite equal to each other. It's getting exciting. And the thing is, Lars, so far, uh, always easily qualified. They're, like in each of the weekly qualifiers, he almost always got top three. But last week, he actually didn't. He couldn't close out finalists last week. So Lars is not qualified yet. And I'm pretty sure he wants to qualify today. So my man is going to try hard for sure. Anyway, what is Marius doing? Marius, of course, uh, also good at learning maps, but usually taking them with a more safe approach. But even he is going for the side jump. Okay, it's not much faster. Oh, jumping over the hole, clipping the hole. Oh, he lacked some speed. That was very unfortunate. Uh, Turbo also playing today. Turbo uh, actually almost qualified last week. He was very close, but sadly couldn't pull it off. So also he is going to fight today. And he gets a solid 13th place. That is some juicy points. Nothing to be worried about. If you get that every single round, then you will definitely get finalists at some point. And in the meantime, we have Bren winning with a 34.9. That is a good time for sure. And once again, Lars with good points. Lars in third, Heath only with 280 points. So Lars is gonna go into the lead. And that is pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy. Holy moly, eh? Okay, one more round here. And then we are gonna hop onto map three. And if I remember correctly from the map order... I think map 3 is actually uh, quite dank, so you guys can be excited for that one. But first of all, let's focus on this round here. Turbo not with the greatest start, so let's just follow uh, maybe Valegen. Valegen, one of the many Frenchies who's playing this cup, but he's getting the penalty. Is he, can he even make the jump? Yes, he can, but of course losing out on a lot of speed. So let's move a little bit further ahead. Uh, who do we have here? Lars, oh, but Lars getting also some very unlucky airtime. Bren in the meantime in first, fighting with Thief. Ren should still... Oh, um, Lars touching. He's still 11th. Two mistakes. And he is still in 11th, uh, 11th position. That's actually crazy. 
That just shows how good of a first lap Lars had. Crazy. Yeah. I think Lars is gonna be happy with the next one, if I remember the, the correct order. Yes, because it is BYMC Snooker, built by yeah, SnookerFan93. And uh, this is a little bit of a pathfinding map, even though it is very simple. Uh, recommend, recommendations. Look for CPs in, in Cam 7. Because we have uh, six checkpoints here, and it's not too hard to find them. There is three in the start. One, two, three. Then there is number four here, number five here, and number six here. And there's also some effect blocks that you can possibly make use of, and in each corner you have a finish. So the route, uh, or like the, the ch correct checkpoint order, is not too hard to find, I guess. If you have three checkpoints here, and then one, two, three. Should be pretty obvious. But uh, of course there is different ways of taking them. So you need to be quite smart in order to drive this map good. So let's see if people are gonna uh, figure it out. Let's see if Lars is gonna do exactly what I did. Yeah, this is what I did, yes. Then going for this one, yeah. It looks absolutely chaotic here, but many people are missing checkpoints, I'm very sure. Yeah, Lars exactly doing the route that I have figured out as well. Skandir was the only one who got it faster. I'm not sure what Skandir did, but he was quite a bit ahead. But yeah, a little bit of a pathfinding map, not too complicated. So I thought uh, it would be fine for the Big Kick Monthly Cup. And we also have um, quite a high um, finish timeout. So I hope most people are going to be able to finish. Would be nice. So I want to follow uh, where Skandir. What is Skandir doing? Also going left. Then you go... Wait. Huh? Wait, Skandir missed the checkpoint. Wait, am I stupid or is he stupid? <laughs> okay, I was not stupid. <laughs> he missed the first one. Or like the second one. My name is Skandir. He went straight from this checkpoint to this one. And he just forgot this one, which is right in front of the star. <laughs> Skandir left the server. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Ain't no way, little bro. Yeah, uh, schade. That is, uh, yeah, unfortunate. In the meantime, Patali, thank you very much for the Freeman free sub. Let's see what Turbo is doing. Turbo also going for the correct order. But uh, the execution is, uh, yeah, not so great, I gotta say. <laughs> not the fastest here, but if he just finishes clean, then it should be um, a solid position for him. But look at this, some people are really fast. A 17.2 is a cook time, not gonna lie. By Heath, once again, a win for him. And with that, oh, look at this, Lars, ha Lars failed, actually. Lars only with 110 points, so Heath is gonna overtake. And next map is called Hyper Sonic, built by Frostflake. And this map is really hard. I gotta say, this is probably the hardest map of today. And the mapper is also in the chat here, uh, JK Lee. And JK Lee was also talking to me about this map at XPBO. He said, I think, that he put uh, 30 hours into this map. It looks really cool. It is very hard to drive, to be honest. But everything is respawnable, so it's gonna be fine. But it's basically, um, it's basically um, a full-speed reactor grass map. So you have grass all the way, full speed and reactor. It's giga fucking fast, you will see it. Uh, some turns and wall rides are a little bit difficult, but uh, I think it's gonna be somewhat fine. It should be somewhat fine. Jan van Achtern going absolutely not where you want to go. Then you have Magnet down here. Okay, is anybody gonna survive the warm up at all? <laughs> the map is really not easy. I also struggled a little bit, to be honest. Okay, so Space Lauch also um, took part in uh, building this map. And he's on the server, so Space Lauch, of course, has a little bit of an advantage now. But that's just how it is. That was one of the bonuses for... Um, wait, Checkpoint 5 is not double respawnable? What do you mean? Huh? Wait, what? I thought I checked all of them. Yeah, what is that then? Huh? Yeah, don't respawn, guys. Just don't respawn. Just don't crash. Lol. <laughs> nah, I hope it's gonna be fine. It is a hard map. But uh, I I, che I checked most of the checkpoints. I thought like uh, like actually all of them. Anyway, it's gonna be fine, guys. It's gonna be fine. Copium, we're going in. Lars, what is Lars cooking? Let's go. Okay, it is a little bit laggy here. Hope the server is not gonna crash. That would be very bad. So let's see. So far, so good. Now we have a wall right where you need to go down very rapidly. Now to the right, this is a little bit blind here, so people gotta be aware of where they are. Then wall right to the left, going down, downhill left again, now uphill, 
Now very straight section, and now another tricky... Where is keyboard abuser going? What the hell? <laughs> now a bit of a tricky section. You want to go down right here, and then diagonal over this. Very hard to see this, to be honest. And then also here at the ending, you need to go sharp right. And we even have a risky finish, by the way, which is over here. Not too easy to get. Lars went for it, but very easy to fail, to be honest. Very, very easy to fail. But okay, Lars with 415 points. Pretty juicy. It's gonna be fine, guys. It's probably the hardest map of today, to be honest. It's probably the hardest map. So, next round starting. What in the lag was that? Holy moly. Okay, let's follow Chris. Chris, also one of the OK boys playing today. Let's see what he is cooking. But apparently you can miss checkpoint 3, so this one. You can miss this checkpoint? Yeah, but okay, but if you go at the very outside, like, just go middle, lol. Focus, guys. No, Chris! Oh, okay, that was unfortunate. He had some unlucky airtime there. And he is fully in the mud. What is Kanchika doing? Kanchika is good at full speed. This is a full speed map. So Kanchika should be at least somewhat cooking. And it is looking good in this round. Never mind. He clipped on the right. That is very unfortunate. But honestly, if he still finishes like that, he should still have a good position. Sort of. It should still be fine. So let's see. Is he going to go for the risky finish though? Will he or will he not? Okay, Kanchika. Very interesting. He made the safe finish more risky than the risky finish. <laughs> the thing is, though, what's really mean, I also noticed that, what's really mean is, when you uh, jump too high here, you have to flying respawn, and you cannot make it anymore. You literally have to standing respawn, and so many people have to do that, as you can see. It is a really hard map. It is a hard map, I gotta admit. But you can still save it, if you focus. We'll go into the last map, uh, last round. So let's follow, uh, oh, but look at this, we still have Heath and Lars fighting like crazy, and they have a 600 point gap, that's insane. Yeah, guys, exactly, like, it's still the Big Jack Monthly Cup after all. Like, if you think you will play absolutely crazy good maps here, then it's your own fault, because that's just not the, not the case, that's just not how it works. So anyway, Lars with a Giga Choke. What is Jan van Achter doing? Jan van Achter and I also met at XP War. we talked quite a bit. So let's see what uh, Jan is cooking. Jan is doing the exact mistake that Kanchika did the round before. That is not so good. Turbo also far behind. Kanchika is still looking good. He's gonna go for the safe finish. I think, honestly, smart idea. The risky finish is quite hard to do. I, I think I would have also gone safe. Because it doesn't matter too much if you get 360 points or 390. As long as you survive, you will get good points. Next map! We have a map called... Ah, by Cheese Lover. So, uh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> Cheese Lover also on the server. And yeah, uh, let's see what he cooked. It is a simple map, but it's also a good map, I think. Like, simple but good. It, it's definitely a good map to calm down a little bit from the previous map, I would say. So actually, uh, very good to have it. So let's see. In the beginning, we have a wet plastic part. Why you have to do a back slide, which is not too easy to hit, to be honest. You need somewhat good timing. Then a small dirt turn, going to the left, then a sharp up the right. This one could be easy to crash, so gotta watch out for that one. Then a small drift to the left, where you could possibly also go inside over the penalty grass. And then in the ending, a simple grass turn into a finish jump. Quite simple, not too complicated. Everybody should be able to... Uh, drive this map somewhat clean and I think we're gonna have some very good races here finally some good fucking mapping yeah like you guys it's like you can uh, no in Germany we would say you can touch your own nose and the eigene Nase fassen because uh, you guys could have all built really good maps for this tournament and you would have even had an advantage because you probably know your own map so no you guys could have all done better if you are playing the maps very easy so let's see we have, uh, yeah, we have Valegen in first. I don't have a hotkey for him, sadly. And Valegen also looks like he's gonna win the round. Then we have Cheese Lover, the mapper, in second. Man, this is a good map. I think this is a simple but good map. Who do we follow? Let's maybe follow, uh, let's maybe follow Bren. Bren doing good. But honestly, I would have expected Bren to do better. Not gonna lie. But the thing is also, uh, it is 4 a.m. for Bren, or like 3.30 a.m. or something. It's absolutely crazy, he has a new streaming schedule, so he always wakes up in the middle of the night so that he can basically stream at the European evening. Very fucking crazy. Ah, look at this, Bren with the risky light, and it looked like it's actually a bit faster. Interesting. Now the ending, is he gonna have more speed than Heath and Valegen? It does look like it. Yes, and what a race, look at that. 
27.0.011222. Crazy. Good race, guys. Good race. This would have been exciting for finalists, to be honest. If this would have been the finalist map, holy moly, eh, that would have been crazy. Nah, 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 value. You are trolling. You are trolling. I cannot take you for serious. There is no way. I can absolutely not take you serious. No, no chance. No chance at all. No chance. You must be trolling. Zero out of ten troll. No chance. Absolutely no chance. I know I have not the best. I don't have the best English, and also I, I, I obviously I have a small uh, accent. But there is no way you actually think that I have the worst possible German accent. Absolutely no way. You must be trolling. I absolutely doubt it. Anyway. I shouldn't focus on Yek messages, I should focus on the match. And look at that, Heath and Lars both with bad points. What did I say the round before? They should be able to, uh, yeah, consistently score good points, but they actually didn't. So, Heath now at 5,590 points, and that means uh, he could possibly get finalists on this map. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to get some hands up for this map, Trip With Your Mama. Built by Sovi Markus. Markus, the most active mod in my chat, actually sent in a map and I picked it. I still can't believe it myself. And it's actually... Okay, let's let's not exaggerate. It's not like the greatest map ever. But it is somewhat good, arguably. So... <laughs> anyway, let's follow it. And there is one weird thing about the map. So you have a small quarter pipe in the start. Nothing too crazy. Of course, shouldn't clip it. Then you have a pipe. Which I don't... I, 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 actually, you could do a cut, I, it seems like. Then here, some holes that you don't want to go in. Even though the map has Mama in his name, you don't want to go into the hole. And then in the ending, small uh, dodging section here, nothing too crazy. But then here, look at this. We have First of all, we have a hole here. <laughs> look at this, everybody's going to go into it. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's actually funny. But the ending is very tricky because you have a bobsleigh. And you have a checkpoint that you have to jump into. And this one is, uh, it's not too hard to get, but it's very random how fast you get it. Because you need to jump up and then, of course, go down to the finish. But if you're unlucky, you can get stuck on the border. You can even land on your roof. So, um, yeah, no? It's, it, it definitely, honestly, it is the perfect definition of a Yak map. This is an absolute Big Yak Monthly Cup map. Not gonna lie. So we're going in. It's gonna be interesting. We are gonna go in. The thing is... Only four people finish the warm-up. Most players don't even know what's coming up at the ending, but we know. It's like in a, it's like when you watch a series and uh, as a viewer you know something that the main characters don't know. Yeah, hello? It's the shortcutters? What the fuck? Huh? Look at this! Nah, eh, nah, Andy Baguette, you made the cut and then you drive against the tree? Holy heck! There is no way he actually drove against the tree after performing that difficult of a cut. There is no way. Okay, anyway. Let's go come 7 real quick. Bren in first. And Bren getting it pretty clean. Bren is gonna win. Marius. Okay, nobody lands on his roof so far. Wait, actually barely anyone's landing on his roof. Ah, never mind. Okay, Centrian did. Where the, what is What is even happening? But honestly, honestly, like the map is bad. But that's exactly what I'm looking for for the Big Yak Monthly Cup. Not gonna lie. This is a great Big Yak Monthly Cup map. Yeah, in the meantime, Bren winning by 2.2 uh, seconds. Bren doing Bren things. So yeah, actually, so for those of you who haven't noticed the cut, actually, uh, the entry of the pipe, you can go full speed onto it, flip out of it, and land up here. We're gonna follow it in camera 7, because I think at least some players are gonna go for it. But is it w Honestly, it's not worth going for it. Like, you should... Yeah, hello, there's also another cut. But with that speed, you cannot get the cut, I think. Ah, but look at this! Some people are getting it! Ah... Actually, only Arpa. Arpa and Jan van Achton, sort of. Okay, interesting. Now, Arpa just needs to make the finish. Honestly, great map, to be honest. Like, there's a cut you can go for. There's a yak finish. What did Arpa do? Why did Bren catch up, like, two seconds? Actually, great map, Marcus. Holy shit. Never thought I would say that. So, P Holy, Bren got it perfect, but also Jan van Achton got it really good. Jan in second, Bren in first, again, Lars in third, then uh, Heave, and then many others coming in. But this is so yak, man. You have to jump up and then somehow survive. And don't do what some yeah others are doing here. Crazy. What a map, eh? Okay, one more round. And look at this. Bren is catching up very rapidly. He was like 1.5k points behind at some point, And now it's only 600. Man is cooking. Man is cooking. Okay, so camera 7 is the best one here. To see the 
cut. So some people are going here. And then some others take the quarter pipe for speed and then go for the yeet. So we see the yeeters. Oh, see that? Oh my god, so many people got it. Four or five people got the cut. Crazy. And the thing is, like, the ending is not too hard to survive. Nah, Arpa, are you serious? How can you do the cut twice in a row, but then you forget about the hole? Nah, in the way. Everybody saw that. Kush with an overtake. And Kush getting a very clean finish. That's going to be a good time for him. Eh? 40.2, a new world record. Very clean, very clean. And this time, Bren nowhere to be seen. Never mind, here he is. Finishing with a 360, Giga Chat. <laughs> now, maps like this, of course, um, it's very hard to like be consistent. Because there's a lot of yak things happening here. So, uh, yeah, that evens out the playing field a little bit again. Yeah, look at this. Heath, 200. Lars, 90. Bren, 170. Link, 250. Only Valegen got really good points out of the top 10. That's crazy, actually. Now, we have um, a map with... Uh, yeah, this map is very mean. This is also a very yak map, to be honest. It is built by Arcticada, and it's called Heard You Like Plastic Rally XTD. And, uh, yeah, it is Rally Car... It is plastic, it is wet tires, and it's very fucking stupid. It's also quite difficult, to be honest. It's a hard map. This is a very hard map, I can tell you. This is not easy. I think people will hate this, but I will love it. And I think you guys will as well. So let's go into the warm-up. Jan van Achten is quite good at uh, this style, I think. So it might be smart to follow him for the warm-up. But honestly, considering that it's a cup hosted by me, and I'm like the biggest old car enjoyer in this game, there's barely... There's barely... There has barely... There has... There has barely been... My name is Jan van Achter. There has barely been any old car maps, actually. Oh, this is actually quite a speed... This is actually quite a speed check. But yeah, then you have some underwater section with some moving blocks. When you go out of them, you have some boosters, you jump. And then here you have a plastic bounce. But you know what's crazy? What I figured out, which probably no nobody will go for, you can jump through this hole here. And it's a bit faster, but it's really hard. And then here, you gotta watch out that you don't land on your roof, which can easily happen. And then the finish is over here. <laughs> Nobody's finishing. Only Articara finished. Very hard map, to be honest. Very hard map. This is gonna be super, super yak. So it's gonna be great for us to watch, that's for sure. So, I don't really know how to spectate here, because I have no idea who's gonna be good at this. So I'm just gonna follow in camera 7 a little bit. And uh, there is one funny thing, though, I can tell you. Uh, when you go for a wall ride in this turn here, you will bonk. And I think some people will do that. Some people will go for a wall right here now. And they will full bonk. Look at this. Achtung. <laughs> and the same is here. When you wall right here. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> That's nice. I did the same in my first round to be fair. So then the plastic bounce. Mach ein, did the cut. In the way, mach ein, did the cut. Ah, you know what's also funny? If people go here, you get a plastic bounce. And then you bounce over the checkpoint. Also very fun. Very great map, to be honest. And look at this, Lars. Hello, finish, guys? What the fuck? Wait, so many people failed to finish. Lars finishing with a 5.7 second lead. What the fuck? This is fantastic. But this is actually hard, because you have a plastic wall, right? And you still have wet tires and reactor. This is hard to control, to be fair. And of course, you also have the hole. So I think we're gonna have many DNFs here. Heath actually not scoring anything, and that is really bad for him, to be honest. And very good for Lars, of course. Holy moly, eh? What a map. What a map. Plus plus, in my opinion. Absolutely plus plus. So Lars apparently knows what he's doing, so let's follow him. Cutting a little bit over the snow. Then he absolutely... You, you absolutely see that Lars is not really good at this. Because he's holding such a low angle. He could have... He, like, he could angle his car way more. And he would still survive. But it's enough, apparently. So, Oh my god, some people going through the moving blocks. That's that's ballsy, to be honest. Then, plastic bounce here. Okay, smart. Also going for the dings bombs here. Will we see a cutter, to be honest? Like, I wonder. Uh, I don't think anybody's going for the risky cut. And Lars is on his roof. Never mind, he saved it. Okay, but now the finish. Fredwolf in the hole. Marius saving. Marius in the finish. Flo in second. Someone driving on the wall, right? Yeah, it's not easy, though. Look at this. Many people are failing. Holy moly, eh? What a map. Maybe this one is actually the hardest map. I'm not sure if this is harder to drive than the reactor grass map we have seen. Let's follow Marius. Marius is probably gonna save everything that's possible to save. So I want to see what he's doing. We're going in. Do, do, do. 
So, Magnus, of course, is good with the rally car, but this is not really normal rally car driving. It is, yeah, pretty yak. You know, you have wet tires, you have to do plastic slides, very crazy. But Marius, of course, still knows what he's doing. Going through the moving block, okay. That's actually more risky than uh, I would have expected from him. Now also surviving here pretty nicely, currently in 12th place. Will he survive the plastic bounce, though? You don't want to land on your roof, of course. That is Instamat. Wow, oh, he got it so good. Look at that. Overtaking, like, close to 10 people. And look how slow he goes. That's kind of cute. But it's worth it. Like, he got into 4th. Place. And fourth place is really good points. 415 onto Marius, his account. In the meantime, we have Hagen in first, Smiley Bob in second, and Zero Pixels in third. That's some very unusual players for the top positions. Yeah, look at that. You also see that. Heath, not with good points, but enough. Oh, but really bad for Lars. Really bad for Lars. Lars is going to be at 6,900 points. And uh, uh, the point limit is, of course, 6,969 points. So he is missing. Si he's at 6.9k. He needs 6-9, six, 6-9 nine, six, nine points, and he's 69 points away. That's a triple nice for Lars. But yeah, with that, he is missing out on one additional finalist round, while Heath, in the meantime, isn't finalist. So we're going to keep our eyes onto Heath now, and we're going to see what's going to happen. And we actually have a cool map now. It is BYMC 360s by Nobody TM. And uh, as the name already suggests, this map has uh, 360s. Two to be exact. We have an Ice 360 in the start. And then we have this part. And this part, I'm not sure if I even figured out myself how to drive this. But what I like, what you can do, I can tell you, is you can uh, do a dirt soup, land on the reactor, get reactor down, and then uh, go with full speed into the reset. And the reset bounces you out of the water and over the corner here. Wait, why are people trying to cut? There's a checkpoint here, my friends. No cut here. But if you don't get this bounce properly, yeah, look, some people are getting it, but if you don't get it, then you need to go over this edge. And it's really awkward, to be honest. In the ending, then there's just some uh, uphill with reactor, nothing too crazy. And a risky finish, where you can bounce off the edge here and then flip into the risky. But definitely not an easy map to win, so gonna be interesting, but I kinda doubt that Heath is gonna do it. But we'll see. Maybe uh, he will prove me wrong. The Ice360, he should know how to do. That's not the hardest part. Is he getting this though? Yes, reactor down. Now full speed. Oh, look at this. Heath in third. If Fredwolf or your team fail, he might make it. He's cooking. He's overtaking. Is Fredwolf gonna deny? Fredwolf! Oh my god, what a race. Holy shit. So close. Crazy. Almost an insane comeback by Fredwolf. Uh, by Heath. Crazy. But Fredwolf managed to hold it. Crazy. That was pretty crazy. Hey, holy moly. For the first finals attempt, that was a good run by Heath. He only lost a little bit of time in the start, basically. But as I said, like, winning one round against everybody else is not easy. As you can see, you need to defeat... Like, he basically defeated 100 other players, but he would have needed to defeat, needed to defeat one more. It's kind of punishing if you uh, put it that way. So let's see. Oh, he's going to make it. He's going to win. GG. He's going to win. He had, he had such a good finish, he's going to make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he also deserves it. Heath was all the way throughout the cup in the first. He almost missed the finish. He almost got sniped by Bren. GG, though. With that, Heath qualifies to the monthly final of uh, this month, which means he will fight for the prizes that we have this month, alongside with 19 other gamers. And he is now the fourth player to instantly be qualified. Good job to him. He deserves it, to be honest. Very good job. But now, we still have uh, many others who want to get one of the other two remaining slots. Uh, I think I didn't even explain it yet, but the top three of this weekly qualifier and also of all of the other weekly qualifiers um, are going to instantly qualify to the monthly final, whereas the rest of the players is going to gather points towards a monthly, leader a monthly leaderboard with which you can also qualify. So yeah, top three is going to be instantly qualified and the other players are going to gather points according to their position. I guess most of you watching this have all seen um, a BYMC at some point, so you should know how it works. And yeah, we have Bren in finalist, but Bren, not a good start though, but not good enough sadly. But maybe he can still snipe. There's not a lot happening, but I think it's not going to be enough for him. Nope, Bren only in fourth, which sounds really bad because fourth place is really good, but it's not enough sadly. 
which means we will now go over to map number i don't even know but to the next map <laughs> so we're going in now let's focus up guys the final potentially already uh one of the final maps oh this one ay, 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 ay. okay this is a bad map to come up now to be honest it is built by switman and it's called truck trial arena follow the uh follow the green the green lights light light poles on top this is, um, uh, uh, this map is a bit confusing to be honest. It is snow car with reactor and it's a bit confusing. I needed some time to figure out the route. So basically, um, you have to follow these things here at the top. If you follow them, like you know, go here, go here, you will have the route. But they are kind of hard to see and it's very easy to miss a checkpoint here. It's a little bit of a pathfinding map. So the intended route is to go here, then here, here, through this, then you go up here in a circle and then down into the finish. It is honestly confusing. It is honestly a bit confusing. But uh, yeah, if you're playing yourself, follow these green lights, light poles on the top. These are the ones you have to follow. Very important. Very, very important. They're a bit of a confusing map, Switman, but I decided to still put it in because it's yak enough. <laughs> We're going in. The thing is, this is going to be impossible to follow uh, because everybody's going to take a different route. Many people are going to drive wrong. So uh, I'm just gonna put my cam on Lars and uh, yeah, we'll see. And we also have to keep an eye on Bren. Oh, Lars going for this one first. That's not sure. That's not the intended route. I think it's also slower. So I think Lars is not gonna win this route. It's impossible to call because every it's all over the place. What is happening? Wait, Lars! Lars! Yeah, GG. Yeah, hello. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. My name is Lars, and uh, I'm not good with snow car, but I'm good at pathfinding. Okay. Yeah, okay. Lars Gigachat, to be honest. <laughs> Holy moly. Eh? He even won by two seconds. Heh. He didn't even take the intended route, did he? No, like, the intended route is to go straight to this checkpoint. And then at the ending, when you go around here, to go like this and this. And I'm also think I also think the intended route is faster, to be honest. I don't think Lars did the fastest route, but everybody else was so confused <laughs> that it still worked out. Marius got second in this round, and Marius is now in finalist. So Marius, arguably, could win it here. Crazy. Reminder, we play out fourth and fifth. So quick reminder so that people don't leave. But well, let's see. Okay, Marius also going for this one. It's, uh, this is not faster, to be honest. This is not the fastest route. Wait, Bren is in first, though, in terms of checkpoints. Is Bren gonna close it out? I, I'm not sure. We will see. Impossible to follow. Here comes Marius. Here comes Marius. It's not enough, though. Valegen with the win. And Valegen was finalist. Yeah, holy moly, dude. The finalists are flying in this time. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. Dude, Heath got it in his second try. Lars got it in his first try, Valegen got it in his first try. What the hell? That is so rare. So a reminder guys, don't leave yet. We will play until five winners. And it is definitely worth to get fourth and fifth. Because uh, the way it's gonna work is that, um, you know, basically, um, once the tournament ends, uh, the points that the players have once the tournament ended, they will get that amount of points towards the leaderboard. So if the tournament ends now and Chaka has 5.3k points, he will get 5.3k points onto the leaderboard. However, if you get 4th, you will win 15,000 points and 5th fifth, fifth place will win 10,000 points. So a huge amount uh, of bonus in terms of points. So it is definitely worth to fight for 4th and 5th as well. So let's focus now. Marius might be cooking. Final round on this map. It's a very good map for him to be honest. But is it gonna be enough? He got overtaken by another route in the previous attempt. So let's see. He's going down. Oh, it is looking good, but it, oh, it's not good enough. Bren winning. GG. Bren in fourth place, which means Bren wins 15,000 points. And they took a completely different route, I think. Like, they were coming from behind. It was... I, I'm super sorry that I couldn't show you the route now, but it was impossible to follow, to be honest. Like, absolutely confusing. The thing is, like, we have four finalists now, but the players behind them are 700 or more points away. And this map is actually a skill map. So one of the really good players could definitely finish it here. Map is built by uh, Elsa Pat. It's called BYMC Yampi. So let's see what's gonna happen here. Skill map downvote. Yeah, but it's not. It's still, it's a yak skill map. Like we have a backslide, we have some jumps. It's not like a normal map. Like not like a super normal map. 
Could be a good map for Link, to be honest. So let's follow Link. <laughs> so we have a jump. This is a bit confusing. You don't want to jump to the arrow. You want to jump to the checkpoint here. It's a bit confusing. I hope everybody will notice. Then you have a backslide that you want to do. Right, you just jump out on the left, backslide, and survive. This checkpoint here is respawnable. I tested that. Then you have a long jump. Maybe worth to release to land with a little bit more speed in the slope. Then take the looping. Follow the route here. Ping. Onto the sausage. Now this jump here coming up is quite tricky because you want to jump in between all of this. And if you don't have enough speed, you won't make it all the way to the finish. And then in the ending, uh, you have um, a small dirt part with a Riolu skip and then finish. So let's see. Who do we follow? Link? Link didn't have the greatest warm-up, but I think he will do better now. Let's see. Ah, not with a good... St oh, yeah, yeah, bad start by Link. What about uh, Plixi? Where's Plixi? Plixi also yak. Centrian. Centrian even more yak. Marius. Turbo yak. What is happening? Okay. Let me follow Link. <laughs> he is the furthest ahead from all of the finalists, but there is no way he's going to win this round. Many other players are doing better in this round. But it might help him to learn the map a little bit better. We currently have uh, Vredwolf in first. Now the skip. And it also is Vredwolf who stays in first. Elsa Pat the mapper in second. Then we have Toto, Kush, Tag, Andy, Link and the lead. All of the finalists, by the way, are going to win 7,500 points for the leaderboard. So also a small bonus for them. But of course, um, 10,000 points is a lot more. So you want to get fourth. Link. Still not with the greatest start. Not sure what Link is doing, but really good backslide. Also low airtime. Very good landing by Link. He might still have a chance. He is 0.8 behind though, and the map is not too hard. So very hard to tell. But look at this, Plixie. <gasps> Plixie is finalist. Plixie is first. Nine. Oh my god. <gasps> nah, he survived that. Yeah, okay. Plixie in first. And what the hell was that? How did he survive that? He did a roof hit on the block here and somehow survived that. What the fuck? That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. But yeah, with that, um, after only 50 minutes, the Big Yak Monthly Cup edition number two of the month of October 2024 is finished. We have three people who instantly qualify to the monthly final, which are uh, Heath, Lars and Valegen. Bren who didn't play the first week, won 15,000 points, so he can definitely qualify as well. And also Plixi with the 10,000 points is in a good spot. And uh, what's very interesting, since uh, all of the finalists finished very quickly, there's only uh, three people who uh, were in finalist without finishing it. And I think last week we had like 15 or so. So uh, this week a lot of players only scored uh, like yeah, way less points basically, only like 6,000-ish. Because, uh, yeah, overall, there were way less rounds to uh, score points in the first place. So, a very different uh, edition. Very interesting. Very stacked as well, of course. And, uh, yeah, with that, we only have one more edition coming up uh, this month before the monthly final. So, next Monday, 20 CEST is going to be October edition number three. The final chance for many of the players to either instantly qualify to the monthly final or to once again score good points in order to qualify with that so gg to everybody i hope you guys all enjoyed it thank you very much for joining of course i hope we will see each other next week again and uh, they are already updated so shout outs to e-circuit mania we are partnered with them giga chats they are absolutely cooking and here we have the leaderboard so the way it looks is uh we have of course the six yeah players who got top three at some point who are already qualified elkon brinken valegen lars mareintje and heath and then um, we're going to go by points. Centrian looking very good, to be honest. Centrian got fourth in the first week, won 15,000 points. This week he also got into finalist. He is at 22.5k points. I think with that, he is almost safe to qualify already, actually. I think he should already be safe. He doesn't even need to play the final edition, probably. He probably still should to be safe. But Centrian looking very good. Pliski... Got into finalist last week. This week he got uh, fifth. So also good points for him. And then we have Nick Sobi. Also good points. Marius twice getting into finalist without finishing. Bren, who only played one edition with the 15k points. Also looking really good. But yeah, as you can see, when you scroll down, um, it is looking 
very, very close for many players still. Turbo also this week, not with the most insane amount of points, only 5.5k. So it will still get exciting because only the top 20 will play in the monthly final. It is going to be crazy. Like next week, the stakes are going to be super, super high. And I'm pretty sure many of the players who you can see here um, will try, of course. Because once again, we have three instant qualifying slots and also the 15k points and the 10k points on the line. And uh, even somebody from like lower here, like Skandio, for example, who left early today. I don't know why, to be honest. Uh, and also Samo is like, Players like this could still make it, so everything is still possible. It's gonna be exciting. 